Congratulations on deciding to buy some gold or silver coins or bars. Having decided what products to buy, how would you know if what you are buying is real or fake? In this video, we'll show you a simple test using a neodymium magnet, also known as a rare earth magnet. A normal household magnet is not suitable. Gold and silver are both diamagnetic. So a rare earth magnet will look like it is trying to stick while sliding down these precious metals very slowly. The purer the gold or silver content, the slower the magnet slides down. For the purpose of this test, I've got a book underneath here so that I can create the 45 degree angle required. So first off, we're going to test a silver Canadian maple leaf. This is 99.99% pure silver, 45 degrees, magnet at the top, and slide down nice and slowly. Next up, we're going to do a UK 50 pence coin. This is a cupro nickel coin, 75% copper, 25% nickel, 45 degrees, magnet at the top, and it slides down without any inkling of sticking. Then we've got a UK 10 pence coin. This is nickel plated steel. Let's see how the magnet reacts here. Sticks. No chance of that magnet sliding down. Now we've got a 99.99% pure gold Canadian coin and 45 degrees magnet at the top slides down a little bit faster than the silver coin that is because gold and silver have slightly different diamagnetic properties but they still react the same way here we've got a silver libertad 99.9 percent .9 silver so 45 degrees magnet at the top slides down nice and slowly last we've got a 91.67 percent pure gold Krugerrand and put it at 45 degrees magnet at the top slides down very quickly is this coin real or fake it's very important when testing gold or silver coins that you conduct four or five different tests for the following reasons fake coins would normally be gold or silver plated, but they would fail the other verification tests which can be found on our website in the Education Centre. Conducting only one test would result in the Krugerrand being rejected as fake, despite it being the real deal. Any gold coin with a purity of less than 95% gold would have the same result to the magnet test as the Krugerrand. Your coin or bars should pass at least four of the five tests. Subscribe for our next video in this five video series where we'll show you how to conduct the caliper test. If you found this video helpful and informative, please share and like it. Thank you for watching.